Hey, yo, yo, yo. I'm snug as a bug in a rug in my snuggie. Love. Snuggle up with a good book. Top five Christian books. Let's get to it. All right, what's up everyone? Uh, welcome to the show. I have a list of must read five top Christian books that will strengthen your walk with the Lord and get you closer to Jesus. Check out my other video that I also did before uh, for my list or just want to replace a new list because these are authors who are tops in their field and you didn't even know they were Christian, which is really cool. Um, but I'm gonna start with number one, the most important book for a Christian to read regularly every day. The Bible. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bible. La Biblia. All right. I really want to stress this. I know it's fun in games, but um, we are using all these ancillary books that are secondary and tertiary to our devotion and commitment to his word. And even um, all this technology, it makes it easier uh, for us, but there's like just spiritual disciplines that come from praying, fasting, waiting on the Lord, and allowing the Holy Spirit to be a teacher and give you revelation. So this comes from scripture where it says, study to show yourself approved, a, a workman that need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Second Timothy 2.15, uh, maybe. Um, so, you have to be a functional Christian by reading the Bible. This makes you prophetic. This makes you powerful. This makes you connected to God. I've been given away from IO Bible because it just makes it really lazy as well. I know like Bible Lab and whoever, whoever, but you need a physical Bible that you read to memorize scriptures um, so the spirit can bring it to your remembrance and so that you can do supernatural stuff because all these books are just telling you what the Bible already says. Maybe with more simplicity, which may make us more lazy, but if you are diligent in your seeking of him, the Holy Spirit will teach you all the stuff, all right? So let's go to number two book that you did not know that was written by a Christian, but it's a very great book. And it's the top in the field of like leadership and all that. Um, the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen R. Covey. All right? So this book is so pivotal, um, pivotal um, when it comes to how you interact with others and how you lead others and how you um, engage with yourself. And so they just took inventory of very successful people um, and just watched their habits. <laughs> and I don't really want to give um, all the material but all these come back to um, biblical principles and Stephen Covey was actually a pastor, if I am correct. I think a lot of these men um, who are leaders in their fields um, are former like pastors who have gone into the marketplace and just gone into the secular realm to apply Christian principles to business, interpersonal skills and relationships. So this book is really good with um, you leading yourself uh, first and foremost, but also you um, interacting with others when it comes to romantically or in friendship or in business. So The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen R. Hobie. Check it out. It's a great book. It will get you right after you read the Bible. <laughs> All right. So number two, we have Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kawasaki. It's a very famous book. It has been in um, the bestsellers when it comes to finance and marketing. And it's also been um, part of Dave Ramsey's um, plan, right? So we all know about Dave Ramsey, the seven um, streams of income and the debt snowball. But did you know about Robert Kawasaki being another big time Christian and even having an Asian American um, Christian? It's just a cool um, thing. So the whole book is about how to move from a consumer and an employee mindset to an entrepreneur and a wealthy uh, mindset. So I don't want to like ruin it, but the premise is um, he had his dad that had a traditional job as a teacher and then he had his friend's dad um, 
who was an entrepreneur who was rich, both of them giving him financial advice. So he just compares and contrasts uh, the advice when it comes to the traditional middle class uh, makeup versus a, a kingdom mindset when it comes to wealth and prosperity and business and investments and lineage and inheritance. So that is Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kawasaki. After you read the Bible. All right, so we have four. Uh, number four is the 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership by John Maxwell. All right, another person who is a leader in their field when it comes to all this stuff. And we did not even know he was a Christian or many people didn't know. I don't look these people up. I just hear about these books and these famous people and I just go about my day. But these people are all Christians in the marketplace and in secular spaces in the arena. Just like, I just wanted to bring them up, Chick-fil-A. So it's like, yo, if you're the best at what you do, you could be a Christian and that can be your ministry. So the 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership is um, just that. Um, 21 laws that John Maxwell made for running um, people, but also how to run yourself as an individual. Because if you can't lead yourself, you can't lead others. And so it's very interesting how he takes biblical principles for discipleship making um, <laughs> for non-Christians or maybe Christians, uh, depending. This is just a secular um, marketplace book written by a Christian man as led by the Holy Spirit. So. It's really interesting, the prophetic insight when it comes to how to apply the scriptures practically. So again, those are the 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership by John C. Maxwell. After you read the Bible first. All right. And then, I'm not gonna lie, this last one was a little harder um, to pick. Um, because I hadn't done the research, and I'm not really sure, but there's very biblical principles um, in this material. And you know, I want to do five, the number of grace when it comes to my list. All right, so number five is how to win friends and influence people by Dale Carnegie. All right, so this is very um, interesting when it comes to, um, wow. I don't know. I feel like the Holy Spirit is saying like, Dale Carnegie is kind of like a Christian, maybe. I'm going to look it up later. But um, Dale Carnegie is one of the richest people ever <laughs> in the history of the United States of America. And he um, said to die with wealth is a shame. And you're supposed to like give your money away or whatever. Um, just like how um, the Bible talks about giving an inheritance to people, not to people, um, to your children's children. And so the whole book um, is actually very different than, um, what's it called? The title would uh, suggest. I definitely thought How to Win Friends and Influence People was a book on manipulation. It's not at all. It's literally the total opposite. And it's just like, um, all the principles that the Bible teaches about goodness, kindness, gentleness, meekness, self-control, love, joy, peace, faith. I mean, I <laughs> love, joy, peace. Um, and put faith in there because we're Christian. And so it's very interesting how these pro um, lessons that we learn in Proverbs are placed into the secular arena. And then it goes according um, accordingly. So there's just kingdom principles when it comes to leadership and when it comes to different um, materials. And so the book is just about like giving um, and having like communal stuff. And it's just very interesting um, how the kingdom intercepts and goes to other spaces, all right? So those are my top five books to read after the Bible, right? um, and written by Christians in secular spaces who are leaders in their fields. All right? So number one, the Bible, read that daily, pray. Oh. Number two, we have seven highlights, uh, 
Number two, we have Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen R. Covey. And then number three, we have Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kawasaki. And number four, we have The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership by John C. Maxwell. And then number five, it's a little wild horse, <laughs> I need to look it up. Um, we have How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. All right. So y'all, uh, let me know any books that I should check out in the secular realm that happen to be written by Christians and you didn't even know it in the comment section below. below. Uh, make sure to come back every Wednesday and Sunday for new videos. We'll just say 7 p.m. is easier. And uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe and read your Bible. Thanks for watching.